Welcome to the demonstration video of the course Habitat Databases version 511. We provide tools to help you navigate through the course. Check out the help video and course map. Select the play button to watch a video that introduces the course. Welcome to the Habitat Databases training course. Learn at your own pace, but with the support of a course coordinator and subject matter expert. Who should take the course? All users of transmission and distribution energy management systems that include a Habitat layer. This is most appropriate for power systems engineers, support staff and systems integrators. The course is a prerequisite for all other AEMS platform courses. During the course, you will build on your knowledge of Habitat and investigate the structure of the Habitat databases and how they are managed. As well as the main topics being described from a theoretical viewpoint, we have also included some self-reviews, some labs or hands-on sessions, and end-of-module quizzes. So, Time to get started. The course is a prerequisite to most other AEMS platform courses. It introduces Habitat database concepts that you will use in other more advanced courses and when managing databases within Habitat. There is a lot of material to cover. So, please keep up a good pace as you progress through the course. This will help you complete the theory and labs on schedule. Use the self-reviews to ensure you are achieving the learning objectives. If you have questions, please contact the course coordinator. Here, we have described the intended audience. This does not preclude others from taking the course, achieving the learning objectives, and generally increasing their knowledge. We have described the objectives and scope of the course in this slide. Those taking this course will gain an understanding of the basic procedures for developing and using Habitat databases. A list of course topics is provided to help guide you through the course. We will first take a look at Habitat data concepts and supported data structures. Then, how to create and read Habitat database schemas. Followed by how to create persistent data storage based on existing schema. Next we examine data population techniques and round this out with data archiving, exporting, and importing. The course has four major components. Lectures and reading that can be thought of as theoretical information. Self-reviews that are unassessed to reinforce learning. Labs to help learning through an experiential approach and an end-of-module quiz. Select the blue boxes to see more information about these aspects of the course. Self-reviews are for your benefit and are not assessed. Use them to check you are achieving the learning objectives. Use the labs to practice using the software. This can be very useful in day-to-day -day use of the application. You will be assessed during the course. You need to pass the end of module quizzes before moving on to the next module. However, you can attempt these quizzes as often as you need. In this section, we will look more closely at the models for relational and hierarchical data. Here, we have listed the topics of this section of the module. They include the relational data model and the hierarchical data model. The data model contains the information that is required to enter the data into the computer. A list of common specifications are shown. The relational data model describes data that is arranged in two-dimensional tables. The database is a set of tables. The row in any table contains the relationship among a set of values.
This concludes the demonstration video on the Habitat Databases course for Habitat version 5.11.